<laughs> Do you want to be in the video? Hmm? Do you want to say hi? Have you ever wondered what TikTokers are like when you take them out of their LED lit habitat where they make up imaginary scenarios with imaginary people and just throw them into the wild where they have to interact with actual real life humans? No? Then it's my absolute pleasure to introduce you to TikTok street interviews. They have really inspired me to just turn my phone off forever. Hi guys and welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Polo. And do you want to know what it feels like to be approached by a guy with an iPhone that wreaks misogyny from a mile away and have negative 500 social skills and just bought the I have no charisma starter pack? Can I date your friend? Yes. Are you Adele? Uh, no. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> it feels like that. How can this guy, who, who seemed to get dressed blindfolded by the looks of it, go out of his way to interview people only to fail to fulfill the only function of an interviewer? <laughs> She's only into DILF, sorry okay. mate. Oh, DILF? Yeah, she's only into DILFs. Yeah. Do you have a kid? Uh, not yet, but... Not yet? Maybe, I don't know. We can figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Might oh. be able to work around it. Oh. <laughs> This is so painfully awkward that this girl, this this angel, took it upon herself to attempt to carry the conversation, and he still went absolutely nowhere with that. Do you have a kid? Uh, not yet, but... Not yet. And even when she asked him what no cap means, because she doesn't know what no cap means, he responds back with this. Yeah, no cap. <laughs> what is no cap? She doesn't know what cap means. Oh, it means like no cap. Right. Thank you, good sir. Your explanatory skills and superhuman-like lexicon are immaculate. I am eternally grateful for your enlightenment. This response has the same energy as when you ask someone what they just read means and they read it to you slower. So I went to his TikTok account, scrolling through a trisillion interviews of him asking mostly women the same questions over and over again. Prove the girls are funny. Name three sports players and can I date your friend? I felt like I was stuck in an endless, repetitive fever dream filled with middle schoolers sniffing each other's fingers and making high-pitched moaning sounds at the back of the class. Hey, Terry, it's <laughs> my finger. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> my ass. And you would think that posting so many videos of you doing the same thing that he eventually gets better. Nope. If you're driving 80 miles per hour, how long does it take for you to drive 80 miles? Eight minutes. An hour. No. Wait. Yeah. Sixty yeah. minutes. Yeah. You good with your answer? No. Yeah. Yeah. Eighty minutes? No, she was right. Me? <laughs> Wait, Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> no. -uh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Some. Is pain? Real? Have any of you ever spoken to a human before? No. Because this is almost as painful as the pain you feel when your little toe takes a coffee table leg to the face. But it's only because he's so bad at interviewing. He somehow managed to always be five minutes behind the conversation that he himself is leading. Eight minutes. An hour. No. Wait. Yeah. He asks a question. Why, why do girls cheat? Uh, because... There. Goes absolutely nowhere with it and just make people stand there in awkward silence. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> how... how... So I noticed how he keeps an unimpressed straight face whenever a girl makes a joke. So make me laugh to prove that girls are funny and I'll give you guys a hundred bucks. Yeah, um, alright. Why'd the chicken cross the road? Oh. My God! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. No, oh, yeah, no cap. But if it's a dude, he immediately responds like this. So, um, can you guys make me laugh to prove that guys are funny? And I'll give you guys a hundred bucks. Yeah, I got you, man. Are you ready for it? Yeah. All right, so what do you call a giraffe <laughs> walking down the beach? What? Uh, homeless. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a giraffe on a beach? What do you call a giraffe on a beach? It's like 
not even a joke. So he is intentionally uncomfortable and sexist and, and keeping a straight face whenever it's women. Can you guys do your favorite TikTok dance? <laughs> wow, old dance? I don't go on it's TikTok. It's vintage. <laughs> Wow, it's old. Come up with something new. No, wow. It's vintage. Pre-quarantine vintage. <laughs> wow, still old. Do something new. Are you getting mad? But when it's a dude, he laughs instantly without them even saying anything. Can you make me laugh to prove that guys are funny and I'll give you a hundred dollars? No. <laughs> I suck. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, actually, oh, I don't bro, know any jokes. Woo! <laughs> How is he misogynistic, unfunny, and can dress himself all at once? Pick a struggle. So, make me laugh to prove girls are funny, and I'll give you guys a hundred bucks. We're not. Oh, so girls aren't funny? No, we're not funny girls, but there are funny girls. She's right. Some girls are funny. His mom was pretty funny this many years ago when she made the biggest punchline. <laughs> Oh, then make me laugh. But we're not the funny girls. Well, to prove that girls are funny. But that's, I'm just one girl. There are so many girls. Oh, I'm so you're letting, your, you're letting them down? Yep. I'm not finding this funny. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Do you oh. want to make us laugh? So these two legends ask him if he can make them laugh. And what a great opportunity for team boys to prove that guys are funnier. Because humor is, of course, gendered. Are you ready to see this comedic genius in action? Yes. Do you want to make us laugh? Oh. Huh. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That yeah, was good. I like that. Yeah. yeah. It's not looking great for team boys. So not only does he feel entitled enough to demand that every girl he meets makes him laugh to prove that every girl in the world is funny. But the few times that he gets asked if he can make them laugh, he just stands there. Lights on, but no one's home. Make me laugh to prove that guys are funny and I'll give you one million dollars. Um, so... So guys aren't funny then? No. So guys are stupid? Yeah. Also, girls, don't ever feel you need to prove yourself to a guy wearing two different shoes. Would you survive an MW2 lobby? <laughs> what? What is that? Is that a game? Oh, just like an MW2 lobby? Yeah. <laughs> sure. What? I heard what lobby, like that? hotel lobby. Oh. Okay, what are the other questions? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they're collectively stealing oxygen from me, which is rude. I miss my life before learning about this dude. I was slightly less depressed then. The silence is so loud. Oh. It must be his overwhelming level of charisma and spectacular vocabulary that is rendering every woman speechless and making them tremble in their matching shoes. But he has taught us that one, no cap means like no cap. Two, an MW2 lobby is like just an MW2 lobby. But this is actually encouraging. If you are ever afraid of trying something new, you can relax knowing that you will never be as bad as this guy is at interviewing people. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing to this channel. I appreciate all of you for spending your time here with me and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. But until then, take care. <laughs>